everybody. In this video, I will explain you how to use the resources that I provide you via the companion site of this course. So you must remind the URL of the companion website. So it's here, okay? And uh, in fact, you must remind it because every week you will access the videos through here, okay? Uh, the content will be video, you will have a sort of cartography of the course, so uh, if you want to step back to a previous week, it's easier to reach videos that way. You will have links to external resources, typically the Apple documentation, but also sometimes some other documentation that can be useful to you. And you will access to the definition of exercise for practice. Here you have a view on what this website looks like. So it's a local copy on my uh, own computer, but it will be deployed in time. Here uh, you have uh, the news, okay? So it's uh, uh, not uh, in really good shape, but uh, probably the news from last year. And here you have access to a global cartography of the course. Okay, you can uh, either click here, okay? Uh, or uh, you can have it also in SVG, but it's the same. Okay, so that's for this first uh, item. And then here, uh, if you click here, you're back to the uh, home page. And here you have week per week, uh, sort of description of what you will do this week. Uh, then uh, you will have uh, the local cartography for this week. Of course, uh, it's not uh, yet translated, but it will be translated uh, in English for uh, English students. And there will be another uh, place where you can switch from French to English and vice versa. And here you have the list of videos. And so if you click on one of these videos, you can access them directly here. But if you access from here, it's not a bad idea because Aside the video, you get uh, some uh, presentation of the sequence and uh, sometimes uh, you also get uh, information with links to the external documentation. Okay, so you have direct access, so you can see that as a tool uh, when you are uh, dealing with uh, your exercises, etc., etc. You can, of course, also here get the PDF of the slides I will present. Uh, what else? Uh, of course, here, if you click the video, you access the video. You have to be very careful. You can go to the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, but sometimes the videos have been corrected or updated. And so uh, it's a mess. Here you are sure that you point out to the appropriate video, the, 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 the good one. You will notice that you have several types of uh, logos associated to each page or each video. Here it means that these videos present essential notions. Here that this video presents notions that could be skipped uh, usually you have uh, prerequisites that are uh, presented, so it means, okay, uh, for example, uh, video on Objective-C, if you already know Objective-C, it's not necessary for you. Here you have presentation of examples that are just discussed. Here you have uh, demos, and here you have exercises, okay? So when you get into a sequence, you can see this sequence is of a given type. Here it's an exercise. When you submit an exercise, so you will create for a given week the Xcode project that programs your exercise, the application you have to design for this week, and you will create an archive. Okay, and uh, this archive you will have to copy it on your account, the account you have uh, in your UPMC account, and that stands for both students of UPMC and students outside our university, because we are making our best to have you this account. So you do SCP of this archive, and then you will deliver your exercise thanks to this link that leads you to an environment here there will be a pop-up menu uh, that allows you to select the exercise you are delivering to me. And here 
you have to provide the full path of the directory that contains your archive in your account. And you have to be sure that you promote uh, X permission access to each step to others to go through the directories and of course write, uh, read for the archive. And then you can either check for the uh, delivery or here submit it. I'm not executing it exactly in the same condition as you do because I'm connected under my name to this environment and since I'm not a student the system doesn't behave exactly as it should for you. Okay. Uh, here if you want to have a look you can list what you have delivered. Here I will get nothing because there is a connection problem because I'm not authenticated as a student. And here you can also see what are the deadlines for the text delivery of your work. So this is quite easy and on my side I have a way to fetch your work and to have a look at it. Some concluding remarks. This website is the reference for this course. There will be a regular update at least once a week because I will introduce new resources every week. And it's important for you to visit it frequently. And of course, you may also write an email to me to point out missing resources that could be of interest you, you found by yourself. Or of course, point out bugs because it's not totally impossible that a few bugs do remain in uh, a course that is uh, always involving. Thank you for your attention. See you later.